Hi kids, welcome to your English class. Today, we are going to do some listening practice and we are going to do some pronunciation practice. Where can you find this? In your English book. Open your book to page 33. Get ready, we are about to start. So, now we are going to start with this activity. Open your English book. You have to listen, pay close attention. I am going to read the conversation. You have to write the number. You have to write the number in these spaces. You have to write the number. Listen, look the picture, and write the number in this space. When you listen, number one, what is number two, what is number three, and what is number four, you have to listen. Then you have to write the number in the blanket square. Okay, is that okay? Are you ready? We are about to start. Pay close attention. Number one. Dad, what's the matter? I have, <coughs> I have <coughs> cough. Here, drink some water. Number two. Do you have a toothache? No, my ear hurts. I have an earache. Number three. My head is hot. I don't feel well. Oh dear. You have a fever. Number four. What's the matter? I have... I have a... A what? A cold. Okay, we have finished. So, check your answer. And remember, if you need to listen again, just Play again this video and listen carefully to complete this activity. Is that okay? Let's go to the next activity for today. We are going to learn some vocabulary. First to start, we are going to start with these two different adjectives. Adjectives are used to describe people, to describe animals and to say some things about nouns. Let's read. I will read first, you listen, then you read and I listen to you. This is little, 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 little. Say it. That is okay. This word is the opposite to little. This is big. Big, big, big. Say it. Excellent. So, these adjectives are opposite. Little, big. Little, big. Little, big. That's the difference. Let's go for the next two words. To bump. This is an action. This is a verb, describes an action. To bump, bump is when you are walking in the street and suddenly you bump, just bump your head, bump. And this is another action, another verb, and this is to fall, fall, fall. So say this, bump, and this is fall. You are walking on the street and suddenly you fall. Okay, this is fall. Look at the picture. And the last word for today is jumping. Listen. Jumping. Jump in. Jumping. Say it. 
Good pronunciation. That's amazing. Now we are going to do the activity on the page 33. This is chant. We are going to listen the pronunciation of all these words and you are going to repeat after me. Is that okay for you? Okay, let's start then. Five little monkeys. Five little monkeys. Say it. Good. Jumping on the bed. Look at the picture, this is the bed. Jumping on the bed. Say it. One falls off. One falls off. Say it. And bumps his head. Bumps his head. Say it. Good. Mom calls the doctor. Mom calls the doctor. Say it. And the doctor says. And the doctor says. Say it. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Say it. That's good. Now let's do it a little bit faster. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One falls off and bumps his head. One falls off and bumps his head. Mom calls the doctor and the doctor says. Mom calls the doctor and the doctor says. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Excellent. Keep practicing this pronunciation. See you next week. Have a great day.